subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Tropical Storm Omar has formed off the coast of the Carolinas, heading out to sea right now, and not expected to get much stronger, but it is the earliest own named storm on record, beating Ophelia of 2005 by about a week. Currently with winds of 40 miles an hour, minimum pressure of 1,007 millibars as of 6 p.m. Eastern this September the 1st. This is the earliest road named storm again, uh, beating out Ophelia 2005, uh, but regardless, not much of a threat to land a very sheared storm, currently located at 35.3 degrees north, 71.5 degrees west. No CVPS rating because it's not ha expected to impact land. Distance of miles right now, it's moving away from these first two, Cape Hatteras and New York, about 200 miles away from Cape Hatteras and a bit under 350 miles from New York. Bermuda, where it could get a bit closer to 380 miles away, but no warnings are going to be coming up there, as you can see on this graphic right now. Storm has no warnings in effect. It's going to be heading mostly east-northeast, maybe a bit of a curve to the east slightly at some point. Uh, but again, going to stay too far off to the north and could degenerate soon enough as well. It is being sheared pretty heavily right now with scatter meter data along with an ASCAP pass confirmed to be a tropical storm, and that's what we have. Here's the model from the GFS showing precipitation cloud cover. You can kind of see it barely picks up on the storm. It also barely picks up on Nana as well, which is a threat to Central America right now. Uh, but you can kind of see the area of the influence of Omar kind of fade off as it moves to the east, northeast, and east uh, over the next couple days before it eventually just dissipates uh, and ends up getting absorbed by a larger system down the line. Again, it is notable as it is the earliest O name storm on record, but not a threat to land, fortunately, at least with this one. Sea surface temperatures are going to be conducive for the next couple days, 28 degrees Celsius, where it is right now, heading towards 27 degrees Celsius. As long as it doesn't go too far north, it could maintain tropicality for a bit longer than uh, what's indicated on the forecast, but a combination of shear and if it moves further north than expected into colder sea surface temperatures could wipe it out sooner than expected as well. The GFS scan, this is the wind model, you can sort of see the center of circulation, but it is hard to pick up on this model run. It isn't initializing either Omar now or Nana very well, uh, but you can see the center of circulation of Omar get lifted off to the east-northeast, uh, get pulled off to the north eventually as it really dissipates and gets absorbed by another system. Really the priority here right now is going to be Nana as that could become a hurricane threat to the Central American region later this week. Interestingly though, in the GFS, at this point, if you look at the left our right side, you can see a potential tropical cyclone coming off there uh, in the tropical Atlantic heading towards the Lesser Antilles, so keep an eye out for that one. That's the 50% odds of development by the National Hurricane Center. Chance of tropical storm force winds look like we're this right now. Zeros across the board, not expected to impact land with tropical storm conditions. The worst you might see with this is some potentially rougher surf and rip current, so if you are on the coastal areas near the system, just pay attention to it for a couple days and be safe. Here's the track forecast for the National Hurricane Center. Again, you can kind of see the east-northeast movement initially, then a bit of a kink to the east, and as it really dissipates and gets absorbed by this larger system, it's going to get picked up more towards the north and northeast uh, as we head later into this week and the weekend. Again, not a threat to land, but notable for being the earliest O-Nam storm on record. And here's the quick graphic showing the odds of tropical storm force winds occurring in certain areas not occurring to the west of the center right now and potentially not expected to anywhere in the near future due to wind shear keeping convection off of that side of the storm but to the east of the center we could see tropical storm force winds for about a day or two before shear starts to take a stronger toll in the system than it already is here's the latest satellite imagery of the storm you can see that shear really ripping convection off to the east of the center you can see that strong outflow uh north of the storm with those clouds but really uh, regardless of that, the storm's been able to gain tropical storm force winds and is the earliest o name storm on record. We're going to have a live tropical weather bulletin later tonight, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more. On our outlets, force13.com for web articles and the live cyclone tracker. You can also find us here on YouTube if you're not watching here already. Make sure to subscribe. We're also on Facebook. It's Force13 to find our latest posts there. And we're also on Twitter. It's at Force13 to ask us a question on that platform. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. Or you can become an ultimate fan right here on YouTube for perks and to directly support the project and our future endeavors in these times. You can also find us on Discord to communicate with us on our Discord server. Link is in the description below and you can message Fool13 at extension 9094.